Today I'm out at the uh, Plover River State Fishery and Wildlife Area. Now I've been to the Plover River here uh, doing parks on, a, on the air activations a few times, but I really haven't made a video of this place yet. And um, <laughs> I don't know why, um, but um, it's located in a northeastern Marathon County. It's about a 25 minute drive from my hometown of Wausau. So I like this park, this place because it's easy to get to and it's got a nice uh, parking area you can set up that's nice and quiet so um, great spot to do a parks on the air activation But let me tell you a little bit about the Plover River here. Uh, this uh, wildlife area is approximately 350 acres and it, its purpose is to protect the Plover Rivers, the spring ponds that feed the river and the brook and to um, populate the brook trout population or, 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 or to increase the growth of the brook trout population that inhabit this river. This Plover River has some amazing trout fishing and I got friends that have pulled out some pretty awesome brookies from this river. So it's a, it's a great place to recreate. And it's also on the Ice Age Trail, the Plover River segment. Uh, trailheads here runs, and, and from where I'm standing, runs north uh, three and a half, four miles until it gets to the, um, to the next segment <laughs> along the, along the, its 1200 mile path uh, throughout the state of Wisconsin. So um, not only is it a great park, but it's a twofer. So that's the reason why I like to come out to the Plover River uh, State Fishery here. But the plan for today is to put this park on the air, and I'm going to do that with my Frank antenna. Uh, you probably saw the Frank antenna in a previous video. It uh, consists of in parts from three different antennas. I'm going to be using uh, the Chameleon 17-foot uh, stainless whip. I'm going to be using the Chameleon 105-inch uh, uh, mill extension. Uh, and when I combine uh, these two pieces, I'm going to have a vertical radiator that's approximately 25 feet, nine and a half inches tall. Uh, the base, we're going to use um, uh, my favorite uh, jaw mount and uh, my heavy duty uh, flag base here. These are going to be, and this will keep the thing upright. It's a little breezy today, so I'm probably going to have to sandbag this. And then the magic sauce that binds the whole thing together is this. It's the Chameleon uh, URT1 uh, remote antenna tuner. Uh, we're going to use this at the feed point of the antenna to um, get a good match. So we've got the most efficient signal running through our coax to the transceiver. So let's put the Frank antenna on the air. Now, as I mentioned, the secret sauce of this whole thing is the Chameleon uh, URT1 uh, remote antenna tuner. Uh, not only does it have a beehive connector for wire-based antennas, but it has a, a coaxial antenna port. So you can make just about any combination of antenna. Put this at the feed point, if it's got a UHF connector, and um, match it. So we connect the antenna, and we connect the coupler, That'll go into the uh, transceiver. The coupler provides the uh, power to the remote tuner. And it also has the smarts that makes this whole thing work. And um, we're on the air. Um, it'll, it'll match up to 1600 ohms. That's like a 30 to one match. So just about any kind of non-resonant antenna that you can think of, this tuner will handle it and provide a 50 ohm impedance to your feed line to the transceiver.
we're gonna find an empty spot. Switch over to Ritty, a full carrier mode. Hit the tune button. And should take about five seconds. Here's the frequency in use. Here's the frequency in use, KB9 VBR. Kilo, Bravo Niner, Victor, Bravo Romeo, calling CQ for Parks on Air. Charlie Uniform 3, Hotel Yankee. Charlie Uniform 3, Hotel Yankee. Jerry Johnny in the spot there, Mike. You're a 5-7 here in the US 10054. Back to you. Roger, Roger. Hey, you're about a 5-3. Five 5-3, and three. Five and three, but coming all the way this, this way. Hey, I'll take it. Um, yeah, you, you're up and down, up and down, but um, good copy on you, so uh, thanks a lot for the contact. Yeah, you came up to a 5-5 five, five right now. Let's uh, let's uh, keep it that way. Seven three, all the best, Michael. You too, Mike. Yeah, you were a five nine. So uh, thanks for the contact. Seven three. Seven three. Have fun. You too. Take it easy. KB nine VBR parks on the air. Curious Ed. Park to park. Park to park. All right, here I park to park out there. Park to park. This is Kilo Juliet Seven Romeo Papa Lima. Kilo Juliet Seven Romeo Papa Lima. Do it, Bill. Kilo Juliet 7, Romeo Papa Lima, I got you a nice 5-5 five five into my two parks, US 10054 and US 4238. Back to you. Roger, Roger. I got uh, both parks, Michael. Thank you very much. I am at uh, US uh, 4576, US 4576 in Oregon, Oscar Romeo, QSL. Roger that. I got the 4576 in Oregon, and uh, thanks a lot for the park today. Whiskey Zero, Mike Oscar, Tango. Bravo. Whiskey Zero, Romeo, Tango, Mexico. Whiskey Nine or Delta Alpha Echo. Whiskey Nine, Delta Alpha Echo. Oh, a nice 57 in the US 10054. Back to you. Hey, thanks for that. You're a 58 here in Texas. What antenna are you running today, Mike? All right. Well, thanks a lot for the Texas. I got my, if you've watched this week's video, I got my Frank antenna up again. The 25-foot radiator with the remote tuner at the base. Copy the Frank antenna. Look for the next video. Rock on, man. Hello, Bravo Niner. Victor Bravo Romeo calling CQ for Parks on the Air. Is that uh, Kilo India 5 Echo Victor Alpha? All right, uh, thanks a lot for the New Mexico and the 5-4. You are way down in my noise. I got, I'm going to give you a 3-1, but I can copy you because it's so quiet out here. Uh, thanks a lot for the contact today. Hey, thanks for picking me up. 7-3, Mike. 7-3, take it easy. KB9 VBR parks on the air. Kilo 8, November, Echo, Echo. November, November, QRP. Uh, we'll start with the Kilo 8, November, Echo, Echo 57 into US 10054. Back to you. Roger, Roger, Michael 5 and 7, Western North Carolina from Kilo 8, November, Echo, Echo. Always great to have you in the log, Mike. Yeah, same here, same here. Thanks a lot for the contact today. You have a great day in 7 3. 7 3. And then the QRP station. Kilo November 4, Oscar November November, QRP. Kilo November 4, Oscar November November, I got you 5-7 in the U.S. 10054, back to you. Yeah, you're a 5-8, five, 5-8 five, in North Carolina, what was my signal report? Uh, you were a 5-7 and then you dropped to a 5-5, five, five. I'm going to give you the 5-7 though. Uh, thanks, I'm running 5 watts on a Yeti. What kind of antenna are you running today? I got a vertical with the magic carpet going today. Ah, uh, nice. Uh, keep up the good videos. We uh, we are looking for new ones every week. Uh, thanks for the part, and have a good activation. Roger that. I'm working on it. So uh, you have a great day in seven three. Kilo Oscar Four Zulu Mike Hotel. Mike Charlie Papa. Kilo Zero Park to Park Park to Park Uniform. The park to park station. Hi, Michael. I finally get to work you. 
This is Whiskey Victor 3 Hotel. Whiskey Victor 3 Hotel, you are 5 and 9 at US 1318. USL? All right, Whiskey Victor, Whiskey Victor 3 Hotel. I can't believe we haven't worked each other yet. Um, nice 5-9 here into two parks for you. U.S. 10054 and U.S. 4238. Back to you. Thank you very much. Yes, I got uh, 10054 and 4238. I'm testing out the uh, Polo Lager. So far, so good. It's uh, pouring rain here, but uh, I, I, I literally have no cell phone service. And your spot just popped up because I have you set on uh, ham alert. Have a good one. Thanks for being out there, Michael, and uh, keep up the good work. Roger, Roger. Well, thanks a lot for the contact today. And yeah, we got the I got the new hammers running, the new version, and it's it's running running good so far. So it's um, maybe if Polar comes out, Polo comes out with a Windows version, <laughs> I'll, I'll check that one out. But um, I can't log on my phone. So uh, thanks a lot for the contact. Yeah, Michael, see you later. And, I, you know, when I put your name in here, the Polo app comes up and says, Michael, Ham Radio Outdoors. <laughs> so you're uh, apparently a celebrity in this app. 73. Oh, wow, I'm an Easter egg. <laughs> Thanks a lot for the contact. You take it easy, 73. 73, Michael. <laughs> Gabe and I and VBR, Parks on the Air. Cure is it. Kilo 8 Hotel, Quebec. Kilo 8 Hotel, Quebec. Nice 5-9 in the U.S. 10054. Back to you. Yeah, QSL, Michael. I did copy your both, both your parks. Your 5-9 into Michigan, Mike, India. All right. Hey, thanks a lot for Michigan today. You have a great day in 7-3. You too. Have a good weekend as well. Yep. Uh, take it easy. Uh, was there a mobile station out there? Kilo 3, Sierra Delta, Mike, I got gotcha. you. 5-3 into U.S. 10054. Back to you. Roger, Roger, my friend, I got you. 5-5, 55. In the Kentucky, Kilo Yankee, QSL. QSL, Kentucky, and thanks a lot for the contact today. Roger, Roger, my friend, thanks for watching. Good luck, and have a great weekend. 7-3. 7-3, and then the Park to Park station. Lucy 9, Charlie Papa Lima. Park number U.S. 4103. I got your 5-9 into the park. All right, Whiskey 9, Charlie Papa Lima, thanks for the 4103. Uh, you're coming in about a 5-7 uh, here into U my two parks, US 10054 and US 4238. Back to you. Okay, Mike, thanks for the park. 73, we'll talk to you again later. 73, have a great activation. KP9 VBR, parks on the air. Here is that. So the trick here today is to get this whole thing down without it falling apart. And there we go. Not too bad. And this is our uh, Frank antenna. Like I said, it's uh, 25, over 25 feet tall. It's the Chameleon 17 foot stainless whip. They're uh, 105 inch mill whip extension. And we're using it as a non-resonant vertical antenna today with the URT1 uh, remote tuner. So works really well. Uh, good activation today. Band conditions probably aren't the best. Well, they're decent, but um, it's not what we've been kind of experiencing through much of the winter here. <laughs> I, I think now that spring is coming, we're, we're just seeing a little bit of that propagation shift. Um, SFI was down a little bit more. Uh, the A was, or the K was slightly up a little bit, and I think that affected things. Uh, 15 meters was quiet, not a whole lot of activity. 17 was okay. 20 meters was bustling, but um, uh, big fades up and down, and the band seemed to be a little bit longer. Um, traditionally, we've gotten, this last, about the last six months or so, um, 
seven, uh, 20 meters has been really short, getting a lot of close in contacts, but it sort of had a donut hole sort of effect uh, today. Um, so didn't quite see that a lot of those closer Ohio and Indiana and Kentucky people on 20 meters, but I did see them on 40. 40 was in great shape. Um, especially I got a lot of Minnesota, Wisconsin and uh, the, the, yeah, the Illinois, uh, Indiana, so forth. So it's um, a great combination of, of, of bands today. Just a little bit different propagation than what I was expecting, you know, that were, or what we've been experiencing for the last several months. So um, I think we're starting to see a little bit of the seasonal shift going on here. You might notice that. Uh, moving moving forward. 156 contacts in the log, not too bad. The bulk of them were on the 20 meter band. And then uh, the rest were, uh, yeah, like I said, 15, 17 and 40 meters. So not too bad. A uh, good afternoon out here in the park. Uh, beautiful. This is a beautiful spot at the Plover River uh, State Fishery and Wildlife Area. So beautiful. Um, I like it because it's quiet, um, a nice noise floor and uh, Good wireless connection too if you ever, if you want to spot yourself so uh, well we're going to finish putting this thing uh, back together uh, head on back home it's only 20 25 miles uh, 20 20 minutes 25 miles or so uh, from my home in in Wassa so it's a short it's a short drive but um, still uh, good afternoon in the park so uh, thanks for watching I'm Michael KB9 VBR you have a great day in 73.